we're here today at the Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the opening of the gardens. Ten years ago, the gardens officially opened to residents and visitors of Port St. Lucie. It's a partnership between the friends of the Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens and the city of Port St. Lucie. It is amazing. I cannot believe how fast 10 years has gone by. I served as the project manager for the construction of the gardens. The growth within the gardens themselves and the way it's blended into the natural communities that were left on site is truly amazing. It's been a short 10 years and a long 10 years. My first involvement with the idea of the botanical garden was responding to ads in the newspaper. They were trying to find out just how popular the idea could be and we all understood in the beginning that our support of the concept was going to was very important to the city. The city council took a leap of faith at the time in giving permission to Christopher Cooper and friends to bring to fruition that vision. A natural, cultural, and educational destination in the heart of our city. From there it became more of a reality. The city really got behind the idea. They realized that there was a need and a desire. Well, I think the Botanical Gardens is, is growing all the time. We are doing as much as we can to constantly look for new opportunities to grow and improve the gardens and to make the gardens a wonderful tourist attraction. We brought in the Bonsai Club. We now have a vintage car show with the Treasure Coast Vintage Car Club that comes in. We've added large events. What I really, really love is the Propagation Center because then that gives us an ability not only to propagate plants, uh, for our particular garden rooms, but it also gives us a revenue source. I wanted to say thank you to our volunteers. We are a volunteer organization. We could not do what we do without our volunteers. The Friends of the Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens is a 501c3 nonprofit, and uh, we are 100% volunteer supported and managed. Everybody who helps to improve the gardens, we're all volunteers working together. Uh, our friends with the Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens that staff and maintain the planted rooms. They've done an incredible job. This is just a gorgeous place to visit. Oh, I'd like to just thank the volunteers for all that you've put into the gardens, all of your many, many years of time and talent. You've helped create the botanical gardens that we have today. If it really wasn't for our volunteers, we wouldn't have this botanical garden. Well, the, the future is almost limitless. The additional rooms that can be planted, the different exhibits and special events that the Friends host, it's just amazing what they do. They're truly a, a gift to the community. We, we want this to be a, a big project, something that's going to be you know, noticed and, and used by the community. It had to start somewhere, and today it has certainly progressed, and the future is there for those who want to make it. If you've never been to the Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens, come on down, walk through it. You'll enjoy yourself and you might find something new to bring and plant in your own backyard. It's just amazing the progress that we've made over the years. And if you come out here and walk the property, you'll just see how beautiful this place has really become.